Hello everybody, good day to you in a cold, super frigid-ish day it is. It's, I know it's cold for everybody and I am in Florida. Um, uh, don't be mad at me, it is cold down here. We just don't have snow and sleet. It was in the, the 30s last night. I, I hopped in the truck and the temperature thermometer said it was 36 degrees. So we do get cold down here, especially with our, our polar vortex uh, situation. Uh, anyway, we're hopping into this Infinity. I didn't even intro the car. What do we have here? It's a Z Motorsport something Infinity. How about a G37S? There we go. We got a G37. We're going to do some uh, some aftermarket parts on this. My uh, customer has some bushings that go in the rear subframe that support the rear differential. And we're going to have to press those out of the subframe with a specialty tool and press the new ones in. So let's get straight to it. It's kind of a big job and I want to get her done. Starting the engine. With 68,830 miles on the odometer right there. All righty, reverse. Let's get straight. Oh, I think I heard some banging around from the rear end. Yeah, I felt something weird go down just then. Okie doke. So we've got some rear subframe bushings and there's also a, a specialty tool designed to press those things in and out. So that's what we're going to have to uh, have to use to change those bushings out. I don't possess the tool and so the fellow that owns the car, I had him get the tool. That way uh, it would be a quick in and out uh, pressing job. I'm not sure how fast this is going to go. I have not done the bushings on these infinity rear ends i don't think i've ever done one i've done them on some subarus but i don't believe uh, it's happened on on one of these infinities so this is going to be a first for me and a first for the channel and, and probably a first for a whole bunch of you guys so i need to i need to get this in there but that is here hmm, space it's always a space constraint let's roll this furred up a little bit farther and oh you know what better idea Changed my mind. What we're gonna do is back that up and put that over there and then we'll put this one right there. That's what I'm gonna do. Backing up the auto. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. But Dave's backing it up. Come on back there, buddy. I'll watch your back here. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Nice shiny bird. Two feet, whoa, whoa, there you go. Not go, I didn't say go, I said whoa, whoa. Right on. You're clear on both sides, sir. Good man. All right, now we can use the little left uh, for the little car. We'll get those bushings set up. Now, my uh, the owner of said vehicle has read on the Infinity forums that if you take the rear bushing and place it in the freezer, it'll shrink down enough maybe to make it uh, press in with ease. So I do happen to have a freezer over there. It's next to the diesel heater. Uh, it is cold, so I'm not sure uh, how much that or how effective that's going to be, but it couldn't hurt, and that's what he wants me to do, so that's what we're going to do. Get this thing nosed in here. Check our clearance on our rack. That looks good. Go with that. Parking the auto. Powering down. Let's get into that trunk space. Pop in the trunk. There we go. Infinismo. That's like Nismo for Nissan and Infinity. Infinismo. Infinismo. Sure. All right. Yeah, it caught my eye. I was like, I'm reading that, but I don't know what I'm reading and I need to find out what I'm reading. All right. Box of parts. I think this is what we're looking for. Let's do an unboxing on the channel. I haven't done that in a while. We're going to unbox the components here. Oh yeah, quick uh, quick note about that 04 F-150 with the phaser issue. We're gonna go back in and do the other phaser on the other side, and then we're gonna see if it's still rod knocking. I, yeah, I do what I'm told. Oh dang, all kinds of stuff in here, look at this. We got some fluids, there is a filter. Yeah, engine oil and filter. There's our bushings, I think. Yep, that's the stuff we're supposed to be pressing. I think these are the subframe bushings, and then there should be additional bushings for the, uh, the differential. That's our pressing tool, okay. Da -da -da. Maybe those are just the bushings. All right, well, let's get this thing racked up and in the air. 
and then uh, I guess we'll go from there. So, stay tuned because this is going to be a very good video. Happening Z Hood. Alrighty, the rack is set. Driver side, passenger side. Let's run this thing up. Black subscribe button. Moving on up with our black infinity. Click. And I wasn't here yesterday. I forgot how to do my job. Down on the locks. There we go. Double clicks. All right. So. Scooting around to our differential area. That's one of the bushings in question. This guy right here. We want to get that one replaced. And I think that's the other unit that needs to be replaced right there. So that one bolts in and out. That one and that one. Yeah. We've got the two over yonder. We saw those. But then there's this one. That's the one that we have the tool to press out of the, uh, the cross member right here. And we can see that's a liquid filled mount. See all that stuff running down the side? That is not rust. I understand that's a liquid filled type of mount right there. And uh, we may break it open trying to do the press action. So let me go dig through the box again, find this other component, then we can get started. Back in the trunk, I found the other mount. Check this out. My guys got it on ice. Now granted it was cold last night, but these ice packs are still super cold, so this is the bushing that's going to be replaced uh, inside of that subframe. Sorry for the heater, it's a little, it's cold today. So here, we'll put that thing back in the freezer, let it freeze some more, we'll cool it down with the hot pockets. There we go. And some chicken, we'll put some chicken and hot pockets on it there. Now we can cool it down, shrink it, and hopefully help that press uh, into the subframe a little bit better. Ooh, hot! Yeah, let's shut this thing down. Too much noises. Alrighty, back down below. Let's assess how this is gonna have to work out. I believe I need to get this differential assembly out of the vehicle. That way I can get the tool in position to do the press on this bushing here, which again is in the freezer. So looks like we need to unbolt the axles. So this is a bonus. I don't have to pull the axles out of the, uh, the assembly here. So we're gonna unbolt these axle shafts, drop those down. Need to unbolt the drive shaft, drop that down, and then unbolt the differential and then bring that thing down. So before we do all that, these exhaust pipes have to be removed, which means this cross member has to be removed and I've got to unbolt it from this Y-pipe assembly right here. Let's get some penetrating lube set up uh, on these fasteners and uh, we'll get to work with pulling out all these uh, components to get access to that differential. This is gonna be fun. Cool beans, penetrating lubricant coming in. Let's get some, uh, some lube on these bolts and nuts and whatnot. Start with that. While we're doing it, we'll lube the rear nuts. Get those uh, nice and saturated. Nice. So I'm gonna hit these with a, just a regular handheld wrench first to try to break them loose. Oh yeah, that's easy, look at that. No rust on these ones. Okay, that's cool. I'm feeling pretty good. Yes. Electron ratchet coming in. Not that one. Swapped out to the low pro socket. There it goes. Excellent. Same thing on the other side. Not fitting. What's up, darling? Hey, um, Are you making your daily YouTube video appearance? Hey, yeah, you gotta say hi. Everybody say hi, hi Lauren. Hi. It's cold. It is cold. <laughs> Uh, the rest of the country hates us so bad right now because well, we're complaining. Our said that she's having a negative 20 degree weather. Yeah, they have a polar vortex, whatever that is. Yeah. Never heard of it. Mm. Ah, gravity. Yeah, I caught it too. Uh -huh. Good. Okay, the rear section of the exhaust is loose. I'm 
contemplating just leaving these uh, mufflers hang from their hangers and simply dropping out the pipes. Uh, we'll see how that works. Let's move up front, lose this little cross member business right here. It's just four bolts. Pull these guys out. They're 12 millimeters on the head size. Okay, got those guys. So what I'll do is I'll just keep the bolts with the component, set that off to the side. Which now leaves us to these nuts. Okay, that one broke loose. Get that last one. All right, loosey goosey. We could impact these ones out. Deep well, wobbly impact. Beautiful. Okay, starting the Ford engine. Okay, so this is not ready to come down yet because there are two rubber hangers that hang on to the, uh, the pipes themselves. And I've got a tool here to press this hanger piece out of that rubber hanger piece. So all we do, is set that up right there and just kind of push it through. Sometimes you gotta add some lubricant to these, but these are, that's a pretty straight shot, so it's just gonna come right out. Do that, we just displace the hanger and then get our tool stuck. Oh, come here, tool. There. And one more on the other side. Right here. That's gonna free up the exhaust. And we'll lower this thing out of here, set it off to the side. Push that through. This is so much more effective than uh, trying to pry bar these off. Okay, coming up front. Not going to detach. Let's try it out back. We need pry bar. Here's what we're gonna do. That one came out, came off. I almost said aff. It came aff. That one's aff. And the one to our left. Let's get this one aff. There. Now that's mostly free-ish. I'll move forward and support it. And pull it off of the white pipe. Voila. Dunzo. Alrighty then, we need to disconnect the drive shaft next. However, there is this, uh, this little heat shield panel business here. So let's pull this thing down. It's four 10 mil nuts. Loud. The resonating echo is quite profound. Okay, there are the fasteners right there for the drive shaft. So I think all we need to do is just loosen this up and just kind of hang it with a bungee cord. It's gonna be the plan. If I have to remove it further, I will. Farther. Farther, further. So what do we need here? 17 and a 17? Sure. We'll come in with the long, the long flex head. Gain some leverage, crack these guys loose. Unclickage. Next, ah, here we go. Uh, next one up is kind of farther away-ish. Are there three or four? Oh, there's just three on this flange. So that's cool. One less thing. There we go, break that one loose. So what I'll do, since the nuts are loose, we'll come in with the ratchet and spin the bolt out. Another 17, I believe. Yeah. Uh, there it is. You couldn't see it. It was on the back side. There's our nut. Let's reach up. Grab the bolt. That's out of the way. Okay, drive shaft is now free from the differential. We need to pry bar those apart and see how this thing is gonna hang. Okay, miniature pry bar coming in here. Let's get this thing separated and see how our shaft is gonna hang. Is it gonna wobble low? It's not gonna go anywhere. Oh, I think I've got a 
pull this out entirely, it's got a, there's like a pilot shaft in there to center it up. Let's see if we can't see. Yeah, right there. Hey, check it out, A-Rod's pulling up. Look at that F350. That's our master power stroker in the house. Power Stroke Tech Talk with A-Rod. Check out his channel. Ahoy. We hang out. Hello there, sir. Ahoy, oh, you've got a freaking land yacht over here. This thing's massive. Look at this thing. Hey, did you guys hear about that new pirate movie? I heard it's rated R. R. Back to our infinity. So yeah, this, uh, this shaft seems to have a pilot bushing or a pilot shaft sticking out for alignment right there. So I don't know if I can push this thing forward and forward words forward enough to get it out of there. Uh, how about bigger pry bar? Let's do that first. Bigger shaft for more leverages. And that little shaft is longer than I thought it was. So, hmm. Well, it appears we have no choice. We must remove the entire shaft. But that's fine. A couple more bolts. It's worth the effort. Sometimes you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Uh, on occasion, see, people will hang out and they'll fight with this rather than just taking those extra steps to remove more components. They'll fight it and fight it and fight it and force the thing out, which you can probably do it, but it'll be harder. And realistically, there is no use fighting against a hardened and stuck shaft. It's a futile efforts. Now, this, uh, this carrier bearing right here is the only thing kind of holding this uh, drive shaft into place. So I have to take care to not allow it to fall out completely. If it bends down, it will shorten. And if it shortens, that pilot shaft is gonna fall out. And if that falls out, it's gonna fall down and hit us in the noggin. And that's not okay. So we gotta support the weight here. There we go. Hey, hold that for me there, sir. I'm pulling out a stubborn, hardened shaft. Still isn't coming out. Back it up. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Dry bar again. So left hand, I'm holding the center of the drive shaft. Try to pry that back. There we go. Got it. Now, let me take this whole thing. Um, I can either take it out or just kind of let it hang out here. I think I'm gonna bungee cord it up and just let it let it kind of chill. Or I can use its uh, pilot or carrier bushing bolts to hold it. I can probably do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's also good. Let's put that back where I found it. There. Shaft is supported. That's out of the way. We have plenty of space to drop this differential now. Excellent. So now we need to get the perimeter bolts removed from the CV axles and then pry these guys apart. Okay, let's do this. We'll come in with the 90 degree impact and try to buzz these uh, bolts out of these flanges here. Turn it some. Battery's dead. Oh, I don't know what I did. I switched it to the wrong direction. Oops, user error. All right, that's a uh, CV axle shaft numero uno. That's left side. That one's removed and it's just kind of dangling down. Go over to the right side here and repeat procedure. Put that right about like so. Ah, yeah. Let's not strip the bolts. Beautiful. Okay, that one's loose. Good. 
All right, so I think that I could probably sneak this differential out without removing the sway bar right here, but it's probably gonna be kind of cumbersome. So let's go ahead and just unbolt the sway bar bushings from both sides and lower it down a little bit. Again, we're 14 mil, loud clickages. We'll leave the bushings in position and just drop the uh, the thing down. I'm not gonna take the end links off. Those guys right there, see that right there? We're gonna leave those alone and just try to just use those to pivot this bar downwards. If they get in the way really bad, I'll, I'll pull them off, but I think I can work around it. See that? Yep, so we swing it down, and now that it has hinged downwards, we can sort of manu uh, maneuver it and manipulate it around if we need to. So this thing's pretty much free, ready to come out with the exception of, let's see, what do we got? There's a vent tube somewhere, and we also have a speed sensor. See that right there? There's a wheel speed sensor right here. And I imagine there's one on the other side too. Yeah, definitely speed sensor on this side as well, right there. So another 14 millimeter and we can pop those speed sensors out. Okay, 12 mil coming back in. That's not gonna fit. And my light died. Okay, back on track. We have illuminators again and a thinner profile torque delivering device, also known as a wrench. So we can, we can wrench this guy out of here. There we go. And again, same thing over here on the, uh, the other side because there are two speed sensors back on this uh, this unit. Unclickage. Roll. I meant to put that down there so I could free up my flanges. That was deliberate. I was testing the concrete. Okay, there's one speed sensor, set that one aside, and then the other, we'll pop that one out as well. Put that aside, good. Okay, let's back up and regroup here, see what we're gonna do next. Transmission jack coming in, what we'll do is raise this thing up, it's hydraulically actuated. We'll raise this up and then set the, the mounting surface up into the differential, then unbolt it. That's gonna be the plan of action. They had this in a pneumatic version, with like a trigger and you you hooked a uh an airline to it but i can just do the foot pump thing you can be a little more precise with the foot pumps as well like let's say i just need to go up like a little bit like a meh, then the foot pump makes it uh, easier to manipulate in my opinion oh and we're at maximum altitude okay so i need to let the car down some in order to meet the uh top of the jack Oopsie. Okay, now we've got some, some space made up here. Or taken up, rather. We have contact. Okay, that's gonna support the weight of the diff. Let's go around the front with a 17 on an impact and pull those front bushing bolts out and drop the nose of that thing downward. Okay, I'm gonna reach way up here, pass all these goodies and get to these fasteners. I'm not going to pull these all the way out just yet in case this thing wants to fall down. I'd rather it just fall down on the bolts and not on me or the floor or you guys for that matter. Mm -hmm. That bolt arrested the, uh, the fall slightly. So what I'll do is use this opportunity to reconfigure the way that this transmission jack is kind of set up so it can better support that differential. That's what we're gonna do. So we're around the front side of the diff now. Here's our pinion area. What I'd like to do is get this, uh, this thing centered just to help support everything a little bit more evenly. I think that's, that's probably about right. I don't know if it's gonna stay that way, but at least I tried, right? Now, we'll pull the last bolt out, and I'm gonna hang on to this, slowly let it down. Uh, realistically, I could probably just pull this thing out by hand and hold the weight, but I don't want to risk it because sometimes you get a little surprised. 
I don't like surprises with pieces of metal hanging out over my head. Anyway, uh, we need to, I think, pivot this thing downward to the left and then move it forward to get that. Oh, I have to unbolt that too. I didn't, I thought that was just a peg that came through. It's actually a fastener. So yeah, yeah, we need to we have one more fastener to remove. The thing was never gonna come out. I was doing it completely wrong. There we go, 17. Just like the others. And strip my gun out. Ah, we need a 90. Let's try it again. Ninety's not doing it. Okay, need a regular ratchet. We'll break it loose by hand. Coming in with the extra long three eighths. That should be plenty of reverse uh, torquages here. Pulling down. Look at that differential move. Whoa. There we go. Dang, got it. Now, the nut is going to come out. As I loosen this, I'm watching that diff to make sure it doesn't like fly out of there. I think we're good. There's our nut. So nothing is hanging, hanging onto this diff except for the, uh, the stand. That was a bushing. Who's shutting up? Here, we're gonna let this down some. Did you hear Lauren? Shut up, she was serious. Coming down. Okay, it needs to go slightly forward. I think the stud has cleared the bushing there. So we're coming down some more. I think it's free. It's free except it's caught on that sway bar. Now I'm rethinking my decision to not remove it entirely. But we, now we're good, we can work around it. Coming down some more, good. Now we are getting a little caught up on the sway bar, but I think if I just uh, lean this back some, the other some, what we can do is we'll crank it. And it's gonna lean, lean the whole assembly back. This is probably overkill, and I think I could just manhandle this, but uh, I don't want to. It's cold. Yeah, that's heavier than I sort of thought. Okay, it's, we're coming down. The unit is free, mostly. Right here. Sweet, got it. Alrighty, now that everything has been removed, we need to focus our attention on the bushing. This is the crown jewel of this job right here. I'm gonna throw some lubricant on here for what it's worth. You see there's a bit of rust going on between the metal surface on the bushing and its housing, which is located within this uh, subframe assembly. Um, like, I, like I said, I don't know if the, the lube is gonna, gonna really help, but it could hurt. So we're gonna throw some in there. A little bit on that side too. There we go. Now we have a special tool. It's a, it's a press tool with a big threaded rod, like a piece of all thread. Uh, in the center. We need to get that set up and uh, use it to press that bushing out of the subframe. Okay, so we've got this one section right here of this tools and that's gonna go, it's gonna meet up with the bushing on the back side of this cross member and that's going to uh, push against the bushing and pull it out from this direction using this very large piece of all thread with a giant cut acme threads in it so let's get this one set up and we'll bolt it to yeah, let's go around the other side and show you what's going on here what we'll do come around to this side and i'll show you how to do this what we need to do 
is run our all thread through the little press side of the plate and then it doesn't fit. I need to use the other piece of all thread. Okie doke, so there's a special press tool set up to get that bushing out of that cross member. And based on what we have here, we've got a big piece of all thread with acne threads. Then we've got a smaller piece of acne threaded all thread, uh, two washers for each and two nuts for each here and here. Now we've got the large cone, which is supposed to uh, displace or allow for the bushing to be displaced into it as we press it out. And then it's got its larger cone uh, or, or its counterpart rather for the other side. However, there's also this smaller cone set up over here. What I think we need to do in order to get this apart is press the inside bushing out of the bushing or the inside uh, steel out of the bushing and then press or use the uh, switch to the larger all thread and then press the outer diameter out. And the reason I think that is we can't get the larger piece to fit through that little hole in there that was accommodating the bolt for the differential. See that little bolt right there? Well, this is much larger than that bolt. So I think we have to actually destroy this bushing to get it out because they did give us the, uh, the little shim pieces that fit on the interior. So I think we've got to break this open and, and do it that way. Uh, the reason I think that is if we try to use the smaller all thread to push the large diameter piece out, I don't think there's enough uh, meat in it to, uh, to provide the appropriate clamping force to get that thing rocking and rolling. So I'm going to attempt uh, um, the, the hard method, which is gonna be tear this thing apart and press this out in two stages. I didn't realize that at first, but it's looking like uh, that's gonna be the situation here. So what I'll do, since this side's already threaded, I guess we'll run it like so, run that through, and then send this all the way through, okay? So then we'll take the big cone piece, set that up on the other side, and then try to press that inside bushing out from, or the inside steel rather, out from the, uh, the rubber part of the bushing. Let's get on over here and get set up. That's good. So we've got the larger diameter section here. It's gonna fit over. We've got our nut, or washer rather, and then the nut. So theoretically, if we tighten these guys down, it's gonna pull this other side through break this bushing apart, and that's gonna allow us to insert the larger piece of all thread into that assembly. We have a little packet of lubricant here for the threads. So let's get the lube applied. I understand if you don't use the lube, it's gonna strip the threads out. So let's get a couple little dabs of that stuff. It's an ARP lubricant. And I believe this kit is uh, also from ARP, which is automotive uh, racing products, I think. Yeah, automotive racing products. Uh, they're legendary for their uh, their engine bolts. And I'm gonna apply this to, to both sides. Got some lubricant in there, threads are lubed. Let's go ahead and tighten this down a little bit so it stops flippy flopping around. There we go, okay. So all thread is through. We've got the, let's get an illuminator. We've got the little bushing business uh, set up on the other side. Let's go ahead and grab some big wrenches and go to work here. I think we need the 24 millimeter. Yep, let's align that. Everything's a hammer. And another 24 on the other side. Yeah, I don't want to use power tools because I'm afraid to damage this, uh, pushing piece. You see it's stretching and going in. I actually might end up using power tools. I'll immediately change my mind. Okay, did a pop sound. Well, what happened? Uh, we're just settling in. No problem. There, it seems a little safe to try to run these threads down some with a little impact, so let's see what happens here. pulling the interior through. It's tearing it. 
a lot of threads on that side. It's pulling it through. Yeah, I see some destruction. I might need to go in there with a knife and cut that up. Fortunately, it looks like all the fluid has already leaked out. And just for fun, we'll see what happens uh, when the Sawzall makes an attempt. There it goes, it's coming apart. Kind of getting somewhere, I think. A little more uh, tightness. I think it's through, mostly. Mostly, almost. Yeah, let's try to yank it through the rest of the way here. Yeah, nope. I'll have to do it. Uh, Manually, I think, just to finish pulling this through. Yep, we're still turning. Okay, got it. But the uh, other side seems to be stuck to the cross member. Look at here, the subframe. Okay. She is free, that's out. That's so the inside part of this bushing assembly. So now, we'll retool. Okay, so now we switch out from the small all thread to the big all thread. We're gonna use this unit and then back to this unit to displace the remainder of that bushing assembly in there. So let's go get this thing. Whoa, gravitas, massive. We'll set this thing up like so run that through and again we just contact the outside of the of this bushing let's grab the other piece take the cone uh, let me get over here where i can see what i'm trying to see take our cone slide that over and then the washer and the nut and i've got to apply some lubricant to these threads as well okay arp lube arp a little bit in there Smear that one in, and then again on the uh, on the other side of the front here, a little bit more lubricant. Beautiful. Tighten her down. Good. Okay, we're gonna need some bigger sockets, and bigger tools for that bigger fastener, and it's larger than a 27. Okay. Okay, larger socket in place. Let's run this thing down some and have to do it from the other side. Some minimal space here to toy with. Pardon my awkwardness, I'm trying to get all this stuff lined up. Noises. Woo! So there's probably enough friction on these washers to prevent all this stuff from even moving if I try to tighten it. And the impact's not gonna do it, so I'm just gonna have to do this uh, manually. Ooh, that thing's in there, you guys. It's in there pretty bad. Like it's turning and it's getting tight or bottomed out rather. But that bushing did not act like it wanted to move. Let's try to turn it some from the uh, other side. Yeah, that's, that's pretty locked in as it is. Okay. So, I'll tell you what we can do. Since we've got some, uh, some tension on that all thread bolt, and we are pushing against that bushing. Let's come around the back side over here with a hammer, tap this thing in, and maybe we can shock it loose from the uh, 
the subframe here. Guaranteed this is impossible to do without this tool. And it moved. Let's go back in with this impact. Loud. Do it again. Is this working? <laughs> okay. Tell you what, let's uh, we'll take it loose. Maybe try to reposition this some. It might have been a little high up. up again. I know. Air hammer. Time to pull out the big guns. Air hammer with the flat chisel. center this again it kind of moved down some I'll take it loose there's some serious stretch going on in this bolt hammering again. Stretch the bolt some more with the ratchet. It's a hard one. Not an easy task. Got more stretch in the bolt again. Air hammer. I meant to do that. What's up, dude? Good. No. No. I think it might be moving. Just one bushing. Just one bushing, yeah. Yep. It might be moving. I, I don't know. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Impact's not gonna do it. And if I, uh, if I break that piece of all thread, it's game over. I'll be in there with a sawzall cutting out the bushing. Ooh, it moved. I think it moved. Or I yielded the all thread. Nice brand new tool. What do you think? Ruined. It's moving. That whole brass piece is going to go through that hole? Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's going. It's moving. A little bit at a time. That's why these 90s are invaluable. What was that, half inch one? Half inch 90 degree, yeah. It's the same as the 3 8 90, but it's just in a half inch uh, anvil. Hey, do me a favor. Will you drive the impact gun? You 
drive that one. I'll drive this one. Ready? Just keep it going, yeah. Cover your head. What? You see that? Uh -huh. Dave's like, ah! All of them. That's that's all of the decibels. You want me to hold that one with a wrench or something? I don't even think the impact's got a, enough beans to really put any torque on this, because even if after we impact it, the, uh, the regular ratchet's still putting some more, more torque in it. Uh, all right, yep, didn't break the fastener, so we're good. Yeah, it's going. Let's get a bigger impact out. Right. Trying again, got a bigger impact. Since it moved and it popped, I'm of the opinion that it's fully released from the clutches. Fit in there? No. I don't know if that's gonna work, but big wobbly bit time. Big wobbly. It's going somewhere. Okay, no mercy. We're switching to the pneumatic. Next. lube on the threads I think or we break something here nah no never mind there's plenty of it in there 
and we're not stopping now. We are fully committed at this point. Dang. Okay, different method. I've lost the extension and now I'm using a, or I lost the universal, I'm gonna use this extension. No, it says. It's not a, all right, yeah, we need to, we need to back off and regroup. I think my impacts here might have actually flared that out some. Take this apart. Just press that back out and try again. Regroup. Okay, the all thread's still looking good though. That's, that's in good shape. Okay, I'm gonna air hammer this from the front side and knock it out. Uh, I think that's, I think we're stuck. Yeah, it was stuck a little bit. Okay, to the grinder for me. Okay, I took this to the grinder a little bit, knocked down the outside. Let's get this set up again. Throw some more lube in there just for fun. And uh, we'll try the press. I guess we're gonna keep doing what we were just doing. It seems to be working. It's coming out. We've got a, how much, about two inches or so from the other side, so it is coming out. We just gotta work it nice and slow like, I guess. So we'll set that back up in there. There we go. Go in your home, please. There we go. Run the all thread through. And then, where's my other, my cone? Around here, cone on the other side. Hey, look at all that rust that fell out of that. It ended up in the cone. A boatload. There we go. Got the washer and the big old nut. Deep well coming in.
Okay, uh, we're halfway through. This is ridiculous. I mean, seriously, this is bad. I knew it was gonna be a pain, but this is like a whole nother level of agony. <laughs> no, Aww. good. Are you all right? Uh, I hope so. What? I hope so. What? Are you I can't... okay? No, I'm working on a Nissan. Wow. Woo! I want my sandwich. All right, it is out. We've got the thing free and clear. Let's wipe all this uh, oil and stuff out of here. And let's go inspect the other side. Looking good. Beautiful. Okay, let's go get the uh, the new bushing and get that thing set up and positioned in the tool and get the new one installed next. Okay, let's just see if the frozen bushing just kind of goes in. And it does not. Okay. Not to press this thing in from the other side. Yay! Okay, bushing coming in here. We're just gonna shove it in there as best we can. Kind of get it started, maybe. Nope, I don't even know if that's gonna work right. We've got the small all thread piece here. Yeah, there's no metal around this bushing, so it's it's just the uh, the rubber business right there. And I guess we're gonna have to just pull it through. Ooh. Here, we'll take the, the cup thing from the other side. And I don't have enough thread on this piece of all thread. What is this? Not even close to enough. Okay, reconfigure. Yeah, I've got to get it started. So maybe I'll just kind of tap it in some, see what happens. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I can, this is going to work this way. not gonna work that way okay tell you what we'll start the the pull from the inside part of this bushing and see how it how it starts then I'll have to readjust once it's in some don't fall oh no stop falling out I want you to go in, not come out. The car is like, make up your mind. Do you want it out or do you want it in? You can't have both, right? Or can I? All right, well, it's threaded on. The little all thread is all threading. Let's run this down. Pull that bushing through. Okay, ratchet wrench. We will ratchet wrench it in. All right, let's 
it's going in, it's pulling quite nicely actually. Oh good. I'm watching the center of this to make sure it doesn't start to pull this interior part out from this uh, bushing business. That's not what I'm trying to achieve here. Yep, we're pulling through. Nice. I see it bulging a little bit here, so I still might have to readjust and then use the uh, the other piece to finish the pole. Still seems to be going. Still going. Quite nicely, in fact. All right, starting to bind up a little bit. Okay, that's about as far as I want to go. We're going to back it off and then set this up again with that uh, other larger puck and use that to, to finish it off. That's mostly in position here. Get my washer back. There it goes, she fell out. Good. Okay, it's centered, very nice. Let's try, Let's see if I can't get a socket to fit on that. No, no. We'll do the socket from the other side here, from the front side of this unit. Squishing it. So it squishes. I'll relax it, recenter it visually again, and then squish it again. From the front. Yeah, that's uh, that was a little bit less than effective. I wonder. What am I going to get this thing in? Eighty percent of the way, and then it stops. I don't want to do that. That's kind of how this is going. Do I have to hammer it in? Just to encourage. So here's the deal. I need to put more force on this from the outside push this pushing in, but it doesn't want to go in, so, because it's smashing out. So what I'm gonna do is put a clamp around it, similar to like a, a piston ring compressor. Maybe that will maintain the outside diameter shape, or not. Use this to maintain the shape so it doesn't squish and enlarge itself, and then, try again to uh, push this unit in. So we'll smash it down. 
or not. There, try that. Smash it down, and then try to pull it through using that other larger piece over, uh, over this side on the front. Or the back, or the left, or the right, or whatever. I don't know, I'm starting to get a little discombobulated here because it stopped and I'm, I'm losing some heart on this one. I fear that uh, this is as far as it goes, which is unacceptable. It's not going to work. If this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Might have to actually get the uh, a regular OE bushing because that has the metal and it's not going to deform trying to press the unit in. That's what I'm afraid of here. Okay. Let's tighten that uh, fastener a little bit. I think this is working. I hope it's working. things looking like kind of working yeah maybe that worked let's back off the bolt again because we squished it when I took off the uh, the hose clamp it allowed that bushing to squeeze back out so we, we might be getting somewhere with this little idea here Again, we've got to maintain shape, right? We're looking to maintain the shape. 